Hi, I'm Driver Lights. We're back with more Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery. The songs and sounds by Jim Guthrie. And uh, we were on session two, which we had just finished, and uh, it's this dude again. Ding. Uh. Oh. Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery session three. Okay. Let's begin session three. No, this session typically requires a lunar month to complete. That's a long time. So, you have tamed the gold trigon and the storms has uh, lifted. Bravo on that. Consult the mega tomb and study its working. And study its working should you become lost or confused. Ah! It just is just a to lurk in the darkness beneath Mini Tower. Consider the cosmic geometry of the trigon trifecta. Observe the moons of the moon. Our research shows that. Uh, social support networks may play a role in the outcome of the phase of, uh, tweeted success. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, be advised that henceforth we will be monitoring your inputs in relative silence. Who's we? Why? Like, why? 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 Why am I dead? Ah, oh, Jesus! We got a from a super deep sleep with no rec form, firm recollection of what had happened. We are reminded of the miracle in the meadow and our encounter with the gold tree. What new powers have been granted? Longfellow was totally floored at how awesome and, and crazy the flight with the gold tree sounded from the description we gave him. Longfellow wondered about how, the, uh, how maybe the gold tree might be connected to the grim mysteries beyond the Iron Gate. Longfellow didn't dig. Good mystery, so we chose to go home and chat more. Okay, bye. Oh, I need to heal. How do I heal? This. Sure. What the hell do I do? Oh, wait. It's a golden trigon in the thingy. Let's do it. How about that shit, baby? Let's go in there. Come on. What's that? The spot I go chicken thing with Jacob of the Iron Game. Maybe we react to a song of sorcery. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to do that. Uh, song of sorcery. What the hell do I use that? In here? Oh, I, uh, oh, uh, song of sorcery. I know what it is. Okay. Shh. Book Mega Tune. Oh, how are you good? Alright, that was a little delayed. What you got? Oh, oh, I did it. Woo! Let's go in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what the hell is that thing? Why is Dogfella coming with me? Dogfella, this place doesn't look safe. There's a big disc. Holy poop, that is a big disc. What the hell is that thing? Oh, it's a like, mega trigger. Oh, oh, where are you going? Uh, beyond the cavern's cave in the meadow, we came upon a secluded grove of the collection of strange stone structures. Was this the trigger grove? Uh, as we stood beside the first stone structure, we thought of the gold trigger and we felt our sword stir. Wow. Is this working? Oh, yeah, it worked. It worked. I'll go over there now. Follow dark fella. He knows what he's doing. Um, tease it. Go. Yeah, I'm taking a grove beyond the cavern's cave, and the meadow we approached a solitary cave, and we met a growing dust ghost dude. The only ghost dude in the chicken totally freaked us out at first, to be honest. He recognized the skithian garb, and he saw that we carried the mega tomb. He wondered if we understood the historic markings inside. Esoteric. Uh, in a whisper, he spoke the name of the suspected we, we had awoken in the darkness, we came beneath the guitar. The Gogo. Gogolithic Mass. We knew a different name from the old stories, and we felt our blood run cold. 
uh, up until now I just learned that the Gogolithic Mass saw you as a bit of a tourist. Now that you've learned the song of sorcery and tamed the gold chicken, you will find every every step is haunted. Great. We can tell you if the going ghost dude was cheering us on or psyching us out or what. We told the ghost dude of our intention to detonate the megatomb. Det detonate megatomb upon Mindy Tom released the Gogolithic Mass from immortality. Yeah, let's kill this thing. This was the trigon trifecta in the locations of the remaining two trigons, but his response was irritatingly obtuse. The remaining two trigons exist only in the dreams of the mountain folk. Oh. Locating the remaining two trigons is not so much a question of where as it when and how. We're going Gus dude uh should have talk a lot on how for monsters. I know what I have to do here. What the hell was that? See, there's this one, but this one's like stupid. I don't know what I do with this. Can I hit it? Can I hit this one too? Or do I need the other trigger? <laughs> What's that? What's that? What's that thing? What's that? What is it? Exit. Exit stupid mode. Exit the stupid mode. I don't know what that is. Okay. Is to signify that I do not have that one yet? Let's go. Is there another one on the other side? I'm guessing. That'd be make it symmetrical. Yep. I should probably just go back and follow a dog fella. There's a dark one there. Now let's go just go back and find dog fella, because this is this is not going anywhere. Dog fella, dog fella. It's big disc thing, like what the balls. This that apparently appears everywhere. I think we're getting messages in our megatomb. Let me check my megatomb real quick. Hold on, wait. Mega tomb. There it is. Yep, I got new memo, 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 memo. text from Lockfell. Strange, I see a golden scar beam in the woods behind the meadow. Has someone learned the secrets of the chicken grove? What do you got to say, girl? Hmm, I'm getting really worried about the skiffy. She's disappeared for days over the storm. I hope she's okay. Yeah, your husband's on me. She's it. Oh, Seamus, serious. Cheese it is just your thing, man. You just love cheese it. That's loud, okay. Let's go visit. Yeah. Or go visit this. Yeah, go visit these two. You need to tell them about what we. Right. I've just notified that you have act I've just notified you activated the free star beam in the chicken grove. Okay. Cool. I don't know why you care, but... Oh, these sheep are awesome. Nice trapping more wood. The hell dog for? Oh, where are the woodsmen trapping wood? Uh, yes, sir, the secret of chicken. Oh, we're going to the games and I'm for the Kukask. So this is about how dreams of people have many mysteries and how they affect the moods of the moon and the ways. The girl told us this is the hearth in the stone hut. Anytime they either go dream walking or together, I should. Ugh. Alright. Kinda have the feeling that the remaining two triggons might be lost in dreams or something like that. Oh, I have the hiccups. Ugh, no. Water. Need water. Where's the nerves are coming out of Ah, digging it. Okay. Not for us in the sky, beam in the sky, behind the meadow, and we asked him about it. He gets in the trigger grave. Alright. Well, an old story that his people typically told their children to freak them out. Luck for us spoke of a posse from Scythia who had come seeking the trigger and trifecta in these forgotten mountains many moons ago. The posse had learned to seek certain treasures in the Moscow, and then they had sought their location to enact a miracle. The posse had hoped to activate the three star beams in the trigger grove, but they had no idea where or when the triggers were. 
Posse wanted an embassy for a long time and all over to Minky Town. Eventually they grew weary, so they stopped. Then the Posse was suddenly killed by a deathless specter by the side. That's the gro chromatic mass. By the side of the old road where a handful of British remains this day. That was over there, in that direction. I told Fellow Luckfellow that it was a nice story, but actually didn't think it sounded all that much at all. You know, you don't really have much to say either, uh, huh. That's cool. The fuck? What? Who the fuck just said that? What the fuck? Who said that? How about I leave? Boss into your home and take all your food. Save time. Yay! Let's go to side B. Kick it. Bow, bow. Side B. Oh my god. Ah, oh, it's rainy. Let's go see that weird bear thing. A dream, okay. Wait, 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 uh, oh, damn it, there was one of them up there. Go find him. Go back up there. 